Um, Montgomery County is larger than about six states population-wise in, in America. So we, we do, we get to do a lot of work. But there again, you get to help a lot of people, and that's the fun part of it. Well, this group is, uh, they are some students from our Access English Language Learning Microscholarship Program, um, which is supported by the State Department's uh, Department of Education and Cultural Affairs. This is a program that happens in many countries around the world, but in Honduras, um, the program seeks to give small scholarships to uh, academically achieving students who have little resources of their own to take English um, in addition to their normal high school courses. Um, the theme of this program is experience US, U.S. civics and volunteerism. So these students were chosen for their English ability, also for um, their dedication to community service and volunteerism um, in their student careers. I am a volunteer um, from Ben Calet. Uh, I help the people with disability. We recollect money to give them their treatment to the cancer. I, I also work in, in my in my church. I really like like help and share with the children. If we are uh, good guys at school, maybe friends that are not good we can change their minds. And so they're here in D.C. and in Montgomery County um, learning how people can make a difference um, in their society through interaction with local government, with the federal government, and through nonprofit organizations and volunteerism. Uh, well, good morning and thank you for being here. So my name is Nancy Navarro and um, I'm originally from Caracas, Venezuela. Yo llegué listo a dar un discurso en español. Yo también! <laughs> <laughs> Both of them speak Spanish. I don't, so I appreciate the English. But I, I also appreciate that they can speak the language. What's the importance of being a volunteer for you? There's a huge culture of volunteerism here in this area that's really wonderful. There's so many opportunities. And I always tell young people when you're starting out, um, you know, always find a little bit of time to volunteer. I mean, it's a great way to also expose yourself, to network, to meet. But best of all, just to give back in some ways. You meet people that you normally wouldn't meet. You actually get to understand what they are saying and, and, and you get to work with them in such a way that you have growth for yourself. And I, I can tell you, that's, that's a pretty good deal. It's, everybody should try to get that deal. How do you feel about of be the first woman, Latin woman, of, as a council member? First of all, I'm the first Latina woman ever to serve on the county council. It feels great, but it also, in a, in a way, I feel a sense of major responsibility, especially for the Latino and immigrant community. One of the things that motivated me to do something um, in, in sort of the realm of leadership had to do with the notion that I realized I was, if I was going to stay in this country, I needed to give back. What I want to do most is open up the path so that the next person that comes along, the next young Latina woman that comes along, uh, does not have as many barriers as I had when I was trying to do this. Um, and, uh, and that someday, you know, we're not talking about the first, the first, the first, the first. Um, so it feels really, you know, it's, it's a huge honor, but it's a huge sense of responsibility too as well. We work together, we blend together so that everybody can feel comfortable. There's there's no one in Montgomery County, first of all, there shouldn't be anywhere anybody in the world, candidly, but there's certainly no one in Montgomery County that should feel uncomfortable how they're being treated. Now, that doesn't mean if, you, if someone gets locked up that they like it, but that if they, if they are being locked up, if they are uh, in the justice system, that they are treated fairly and, and with respect. So it's important to always keep that in mind. Some of them wanted to know exactly what is it that you do? What is your job? You have to deal with every aspect of the government when it comes to laws, budget, land use. Um, that's, that's what we do. That each of us have staff that, that works on constituent service. Someone calls up and complains about something, someone on air staff figures out what to do with the something and, and get back with somebody. I, I understand the question is what do we do, but what I'd like to say to all of you is about what do you do um, and clearly Central America is facing an enormous crisis clearly there is a great need for sus cerebros young people who make an investment in the leadership of your country 
are so important and the opportunity that you have to travel to learn other languages to understand other systems of government is going to be of tremendous value back home in Honduras because there is a great need what is so clear to me from the visits I've made to El Salvador is that the best talents of this generation unfortunately the country is deprived of them there's this strong desire to find safety elsewhere and and many many uh, Hondureños are coming here uh, and also Salvadoreños and Guatemaltecos coming to Montgomery County which we welcome it makes our society stronger and our community better the meaning of life is service to others Honduras needs you I hope that you will take what you learn here and uh, todos sus capacidades y sus cerebros because uh, uh, your country needs you and there's a great need for a stable generation of young leaders throughout Central America so I just wanted to share those thoughts with you. Oh, I wish for a day that uh, here in the United States our own Latino bloc would be so coherent that we would be able to also affect some of the policies towards Central America and Latin America. Thank you for the information that you bring us and God bless you. Oh, thank you.